Good morning. Um, I found this better uh, depiction of Yamauchi's overlapping circles of evidence. Uh, this is taken from Edwin Yamauchi's book, The Stones and the Scriptures. And I told you earlier that I actually studied with uh, Dr. Yamauchi for several years at Miami University in Ohio, and he's written many books. He's quite a scholar. But his Stones and the Scriptures uh, book has something that is used and quoted by others, and this is a much better representation of it than I had on that handout that I talked to you about last week. It's the idea of overlapping circles of evidence. Okay, so um, as we take a look at the Bible and we take a look at archaeology and the material that we have, you can see on here three circles, uh, biblical text, inscriptions and other texts, then materials, uh, other materials found through archaeology, find inscriptions and texts through archaeology, find other materials like artifacts, uh, works of art, uh, pottery of various kinds. So uh, what Yamauchi did here, I think in a very useful way, is he said, okay, we have the biblical text. The biblical text, of course, tells us uh, a great deal about life in ancient Israel, Old Testament, and also in the New Testament, life in Palestine. Um, and so there's a lot of information there that we simply do not have from archaeological sources. There are places where the biblical text overlaps with inscriptional material, uh, inscription tablets and you know all sorts of things. Uh, that's that's this two where they overlap is five, okay, this five area. So there's going to be a lot of material that's not found uh, in inscriptional material that is in the Bible. There's going to be a lot of material in inscriptions that we won't see in the Bible as well. Then, of course, we have material culture, um, which could be a whole host of other things, anything from bones and burials, pottery, scarabs, coins, you know, you name it, could be in there. And um, very, uh, you know, uh, very small part of percentage of that will overlap with uh, with the biblical text. The biblical text will tell us things we don't find there and it'll tell us things we don't find here. Uh, but then of course we have uh, other times when the material evidence overlaps with inscriptions um, and the text. You know it's very seldom that we have number seven where we have the biblical text excavation information and inscriptional information about events in in the Bible. And of course, part of this you know depends on how you're going to view the biblical text. Some people will not accept what's in the biblical text unless it overlaps with one of these two things. Um, most of them don't say it has to overlap with both. But uh, they say, well, we don't really trust the biblical text unless we find an inscription or unless we find some sort of material culture that confirms what's or you know, collaborates, uh, confirms what's in the text of the Bible. Um, <clears throat> I guess my approach is I, I take the biblical text uh, as being true and uh, something that I bring to the table when I look at inscriptions and material evidence as well. So I hope this uh, is helpful. This is just a brief video, but I wanted to share it with you um, as, we, uh, as we approach this kind of work. That we can see that there's going to be a lot of material that we find in the Bible that we're probably never going to find uh, archaeological or inscriptional evidence for it. Likewise, we'll find a lot of uh, information that could relate to the Bible, although not directly in the text that we find in inscriptions and uh, other kinds of text. And then the material culture is going to add to our understanding of the Bible, even if some of those particular things are not mentioned in the Bible um, at any rate. So uh, I hope this helps, and uh, let me upload this for you now as well. I hope you have a great day. Bye.